So, and Google just dropped another bombshell on us. So, um, yeah, Google just released Firebase Studio. So Firebase Studio is similar to Bolt.new. So with Firebase Studio, you can also create web apps, you can create application and um, also yeah, application for mobile phones and so on. Here you can see it is uh, yeah relatively or really similar to um, Bolt.new, uh, lovable and so on. And the good thing here is that um, we are able to integrate directly AI agents into, into our applications, into our apps that we want to create here. And so, for example, we can create the new Gemini 2.5 into the apps and use Gemini, for example, um, for the app creation. And this is currently free. You can go to the website and you can test it out. So I will put uh, the link in the video description down below so you can check it out. And also um, here is the complete documentation. Here you can read everything in detail, how this works, how you can start with um, Firebase Studio and what Firebase is capable of. And also here you can see where it is. I saw it uh, here. You can see AI uh, assistance in Firebase Studio when you go here. And you can see, uh, read everything. And also here you can see um, the Gemini integration into Firebase Studio. This, this is really cool. So if this works, uh, this is really great. So yeah, and uh, also in this video, I want to test it out. So let's go here <clears throat> to the main page and let's click on get started. And for right now, it is completely free. But yeah, I think um, this will this will change real quick, uh, real quickly. And uh, here now we are on the main dashboard. You can see hello, um, what we what we want to build today. So then we have uh, what this. Yeah, uh, here we can create different workspaces. We can upload uh, or link uh, our repos. So when we have an application on GitHub, I think, um, yeah, uh, yeah, import um, uh, repos from GitHub and something like this, then we can continue working on our repository in uh, GitHub, for example. And uh, what's this? So here we have the different frameworks. So oh, and uh, yeah, Go, Python, Flask, uh, JavaScript, .NET. Android Studio Cloud, Flutter, Angular, Nexus JS, uh, Gemini API, very important, Genkit, and yes, there's so many, and React, so React JS plus, X plus Expo. This is, um, yeah, really nice. So if this works, then um, I'm completely blown away here. So yeah, let's um, let's test this out. Um, I, made, uh, I made a prompt, let me copy the prompt real quick let's paste it in here and let's see how this works and this is the prompt uh, create an application that makes it easier for me to plan my youtube youtube content creation integrate a checklist and a planner function and also a calendar for planning future videos also create a goals function which i can use to create custom goals and keep track of my goals so okay then um yeah, then let's click on um, prototype with AI and let's see. Okay, and here is the plan for our new application. Uh, it's called uh, Tube Planner. Yeah, that's nice. So, and here is the breakdown, a checklist creation, create and manage uh, video checklist and customizable, customizable items, video planner, plan um, future videos with titles, description, and tech outlines, uh, content calendar, schedule video releases and track deadlines with a visual calendar, goal tracking, define your custom goals, AI content su suggestion. Oh, this is, this is good. Uh, suggest video titles. Yeah, this is, this is good. Okay. Um, did I have to approve this or um, content or oh, color? What's, what's color? Primary. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. I see the, uh, the primary colors of our application. Okay, this is cool. Um, primary color blue. Let's change this. Can we change this? Or do we have to click here on the edit button? Oh, okay. We have to click on the edit button. So then uh, can we... 
So what's the color code for red? Uh, or can we simply type in red? Or... Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't know right now the color code for red. Then, um, oh, let's let's see. Let's get the color code for red because yeah, YouTube videos is red. Um, color code hex for red. Uh, okay, this is the color code. Then let's put in the color code okay a uh, secondary color is uh, white grayish on accent accent mm, okay clean and clean and intuitive layout with the focus on usability uh, use clear and consistent icon for uh, navigation and action uh, yeah why not okay then let's click here on save Okay, yeah, then um, let's click here on prototype this app and let's see what will happen now. Okay, uh, okay, here's our terminal window, so it's a little bit uh, different. So uh, we well, created the environment um, file. Holy shit, like, this is really fast. So uh, this is really fast. Uh, uh, I'm not too, I'm not used to this. Uh, when you see the other programs like bolt uh, dot new for something like this it's, it uh, takes forever um until he writes all the code um or uses the terminal window and this is this is really really fast and it's already done uh, okay it's already finished okay yeah it's um okay we can definitely work on the um user interface now uh, home checklist okay let's click here on checklist let's see one issue uh uh how do we solve the issue um hydration failed because the server rendered html didn't match the client okay um oh and here we have to enter our gemini api key okay we can we can do this Okay, so um, it appears that your app needs a Gemini API key. Then, yeah, let me gra grab real quick the Gemini API key. Okay, now I grab... Oh, you can you cannot see this. Yeah, wait a second. Um, let me move me a little bit out of the way. Here you can see um, I have to input my Gemini API key. That's back here. So then I will put it in and... Okay, and then let's click on continue. Okay, the first uh, iteration of your app um, prototype is ready. Try it out and preview. Try try it out in the preview window and describe the changes you like me to make below. Okay. Um. I see. Then uh, we have one uh, issue here. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me copy the server client. Okay, uh, let me copy this. Let me close the issue. And let's type in here. We'll move to this side. Oh, okay. And here is uh, the new prompt. Please make the UI a bit more colorful, interesting, interactive. I can see um, that the application prints out an error. Uh, please fix this error. And here's the error message. So let's see. Maybe um, yeah, he understands what I what I mean here. So let's click on send. Um, uh, okay, he's working. So let me let me move myself back this side. Okay, um, not very colorful, <laughs> but yeah, again, still this issue. Uh, okay, this um, uh, Firebase Studio, of course, it's new. But what's going on with this issue? Um, HTML issue in this file. Oh, okay, we have a fixed issue button here. Okay, fixed issue. Let's see. Uh, the first time this fixed issue button was not there, I think. But it's, it's, it's really fast, so um, the speed is good, yeah. If you can fix our problem here, the, the issue, the error code, then um, I'm impressed. 
uh, still this issue. Can we click here? Okay, now we can. We definitely can click here. So, um, hold tracker. Okay, yeah, the app definitely works, but we have still this stupid HTML render HTML didn't match the client. Don't know what this is right now, but um. Yeah, so then let's let's uh, check it out. Um, make a dog video. So then let's add this. Okay, <laughs> okay, we can remove this. Perfect. Um, video planner. Uh, my dog video. Hello, <laughs> dog, <laughs> and uh, the tag is. Or one of the tag dogs save to okay and this uh, does not work so um we still get an error and also the um video video planner click on enter here let's see and also of course yeah we um can publish this app or switch to code um but um i will click here on um, publish later so we still oh, okay okay See again so this is deleted okay we remove this um video planner let me put something in here okay now the um, function is is here okay perfect Uh, what's this? Let me put in. Oh, here is the new prompt. Uh, when I create a scheduled video for a specific day in the content calendar, the date must be highlighted in a color so that I can immediately see that I have a new video planned for the day. Uh, click send and here and then. Okay. Why? Um. Ah, okay, okay. This. Ah, okay. Now. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. Of course. We can. We could um, define this a little bit more, or give give another specific prompt that you should um, highlight it in a different color. But it definitely works. And um, let's see if. This still works. Edge, okay. Video planner, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah. blah. Okay, it works. We cannot delete this, but yeah, we could um, uh, add this function as well. But I think for now, um, yeah, we understand how this works. Goal, target 100%. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, the goal function is not the best, but. Uh, it definitely works and cool. Yeah, then let's see how we could uh, deploy this app. So let's click here on publish and let's see how yeah, we could deploy this app in which way if we could, if we can send it directly to GitHub or um, or if we could export uh, the files. I don't know. Let's see. But uh, yeah, I really like this and if we can implement AI, for example, then um, yeah, even better. Uh, okay, okay, Firebase Mac. Ah, okay, okay. We have to make an account. Yeah, uh, we have to make an account first, and we, because we will deploy this uh, via Firebase, but this is uh, not a problem, and this is um, yeah something for the next video. But yeah, now you can see um, yeah how good this how good this is, how good this works. And let me close this, and um, also we can switch here to the code. Ah, okay, we can go. Yeah, here's the code. So of course we could export the, um, yeah the raw code here, and for example create um, or export this project and open this project in Visual Studio Code, for example, and then um, deploy this via Visual Studio Code. I think this will, would work as well. And yeah, 
Um, yeah, this is um, really cool and I like this. Um, yeah, I think that's it for the video. Now you know exactly how this works and right now this is free and um, what the heck? This is free, uh, tested out. Uh, I really like this and yeah, let's see um, what Google comes up with next so please they are they are really stepping on the gas here and yeah let's see um, how this is how this is going so um i think yeah that's it for this video so if you like the video if you found the video informative then yeah i would appreciate if you subscribe to my youtube channel and also press the thumbs up button and yeah till then thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye guys